Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Increased security at the state capitol. It's in response to the shooting of Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Thirteen others were hurt and six were killed. Capitol Police say they are on alert, but they're not releasing details of any specific changes. The shooting prompting a flood of reaction from people of all political backgrounds. News 3's Jessica Arp has more reaction. Well, some Wisconsin politicians are calling for a return to civility in debate, while others say this was an isolated incident on which politics can't be blamed. A tragic and terrifying scene in Arizona have Wisconsin politicos wondering if fiery political statements encourage the alleged shooter. Never should you rise to the point of violence or words that somehow dehumanize someone because that's when you could trigger someone who might be unstable. State Representative Mark Pocan says he's recently been victim to such comments. When one of the local talk radio persons decided uh, they were upset and they decided to call me human garbage over and over on the radio, encourage people to light up my phone lines and my email, uh, we got a lot of interesting uh, responses uh, ranging from uh, people just angry to people saying, you know, I hope you die of AIDS and things like that. Radio host Vicki McKenna says she was only responding to Pocan calling her listeners what she considered a vulgar name and says in the case of Arizona, blame doesn't lie with other politicians, but with a mentally ill gunman. I have nothing to apologize for. Sarah Palin has nothing to apologize for. If you want to discuss the kind of language we use in discourse or the kinds of images we use in discourse, let's discuss them, but let's set this aside because it has nothing to do with that. Let's not kid ourselves. There's some rhetoric out there. Uh, I won't assign to whom, but there's some crazy in the water. Democratic Party spokesman Graham Zielinski says while the party has been criticized for its actions, he says they believe political speech needs to remain respectful. Well, let's put it this way. We think we're nice in Wisconsin and we should be able to disagree nicely. And it's certainly the case that any, any talk of violence uh, or violent depictions, imagery is, is totally off the table. McKenna admits she has gotten threats herself as late as today, but calls them absurd. She also notes that assassinations have occurred of federal officials in the country long before the age of the Internet and talk radio. But is it this call uh, for civility today, is it a bipartisan call? It really is. Governor Scott Walker today said that these events should cause everyone, quote, to pause and reexamine how we treat others, not just in politics, but in life. In addition, Democratic Representative Mark Pocan, along with his Republican colleague Robin Voss, together called for civility and discourse in a statement today, detailing their friendship and calling for debate without violence. Jessica Arp reporting tonight. Jess, thanks.